Sandra Bullock, who turned 60 today, is doing okay and concentrating on her kids over a year after her companion Brian Randall passed away from ALS. Bullock, who turned 26 on July 26, dated Randall from 2015 until his passing in August 2023 at the age of 57. The actress referred to him as the love of my life, according to a person close to Bullock's 55-year-old pal Jennifer Aniston. She's doing okay now. Her children are incredible. She is overjoyed to be a mother. She received the assistance she needed from her friends throughout and after his illness. She is appreciative of all the affection. When Brian died, everyone gave her support and encouragement. Bullock adopted Layla, age 9, in 2015, and Lewis, age 14, in 2010. August 5, 2023, saw Randall's death at the age of 57 after a quiet three-year fight with ALS, a myotrophic lateral sclerosis. According to the Mayo Clinic, ALS is a nervous system disease that affects nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord, and it is incurable. The photographer's family issued a statement following his untimely death. After a three-year battle with ALS, Brian Randall passed away peacefully on August 5th. We announced with deep grief, the family had stated. Brian chose early to keep his journey with ALS private, and those of us who cared for him did our best to honor his request. At this time we ask for privacy to grieve and to come to terms with the impossibility of saying goodbye to Brian. We are immensely grateful to the tireless doctors who navigated the landscape of this illness with us and to the astounding nurses who became our roommates, often sacrificing their own families to be with ours. Randall's family concluded by saying, His loving family, Bullock's sister, Jessine, expressed her grief at the photographer's passing at the time and commended Sandra for the amazing care she had given her longtime companion during his quiet ALS fight. I'm confident that Bry has discovered the best fishing area in heaven and is already casting his lure into flowing rivers teeming with salmon, she wrote on Instagram. ALS is a terrible illness, but there is solace in the knowledge that my incredible sister and the team of nurses she gathered to assist her in taking care of him at home were the best caregivers for him. Bullet Prado continued, Rest in peace, Brian. Jessine wrote as she ended the message, urging readers to donate to Massachusetts General Hospital and the ALS Association. Brian initially met Sandra in 2015 when he happened to take pictures of her son Louis's birthday celebration. The two announced their romance to the world in October of that year while at the Our Brand is Crisis premiere. Bullock and Randall were last seen together in July 2020 when they showed up in Studio City for a modest get-together with the star's two kids, Layla, 11, and Louis, 13. Skylar, 30, is the model-turned-photographer's own daughter from a previous relationship. After Sandra's marriage to Jesse James ended in 2010, she talked candidly about her connection with Brian in a 2021 interview that aired on Jada Pinkett Smith's Red Table Talk. The Bird Box actress acknowledged that she had gone through a divorce but also said, I found the love of my life. His oldest daughter and I have three lovely children together. Bullock said, It's the best thing ever. They hadn't been together that long, but she also remembered telling Brian that she intended to adopt a second kid. I responded, Remember that NDA you signed when you photographed my son? I said, You know, that still holds. Why? He exclaimed. I said, I'm bringing a child home when I come back from Toronto. Despite his happiness, he felt afraid. I'm a bulldozer, she said. My life was already headed in the correct direction, and now here's this lovely person who doesn't want to be involved in it, but who is the perfect person to be there. Three years prior to the photographer's ALS diagnosis, in December 2017, Sandra and Brian were spotted, exchanging vows, during a private ceremony. Despite this, the two never got married. Following the ceremony, the pair was captured on camera dancing in happiness, with close friends and family joining them. They really did this for the children, to kind of seal the deal and show them this was a forever thing. A close friend said. Following the ceremony, Brian was referred to as Dad by Lewis and Layla. The Bahamas Harbor Island hosted the ceremony at our pod Bussin's 3B's villa. It was Brian's birthday on December 31st so it's like they wanted to celebrate everything at once, another attendee said. According to a different source, Sandra and Brian were more together than ever. At the time of his passing, Sandra kept Brian out of sight in the back of the house's back. 
It was quite convenient for them to have these rumors that they had broken up because it helped conceal what was really going on. However, toward the end she really didn't let people into the home beyond the doctors and nurses who were looking after him. Now that they were apart, it was simpler to let others believe they hadn't seen him. Bullock stopped hosting her yearly Easter parties, a close friend said. They used to celebrate Christmas and Thanksgiving together in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. These days, Bullock genuinely only has a tiny circle of friends, and she still visits their houses when she does see them. She would only allow visitors to her home when they were outside by the swimming pool. But the majority of those who had paid the star's house a visit were medical professionals, such as nurses and specialists. Despite the terrible circumstances that befell them all, she refused to give up on him.